Hi, Stacy. It's been a long time. How do you do? Hi, Hannah. It's been a while. The last time we met at Megan's housewarming party. I'm doing great. Absolutely fine. Actually, the reason I reach out to you is because if there's something important I want to share, do you have some time to talk? Of course. I'm just at home doing some chores. What's up? You won't believe it, but I'm getting married soon. Seriously? You're getting married? Congratulations! Thank you so much. But it seems a bit sudden, no? I remember you said you weren't even in a relationship. I know. But shortly after that, fate smiled upon me, and I met the man of my dreams. That's absolutely amazing. And you're already planning the wedding. Yes, and I thought you should be the first to share in my happiness. I must admit, I'm quite surprised. When we meet next, I'd love to meet the lucky guy. I'm curious to see who won your heart. Out of everyone, Stacy, you're probably the only one who doesn't need an introduction to him. What do you mean? Because it's someone you already know. How can I introduce you to someone you're already familiar with? Are you marrying someone I know? I wonder who it could be. I'm completely clueless. Can you give me a hint or something? A hint? Let me think. It's someone who holds a special place in your heart, Stacy. Someone close to me. My brother is already married with kids, and Dad is traveling the world with Mom. What? Why would I be marrying someone from your family? Well, my family is the only group of people I care about. So honestly, I don't know who you're talking about. You're truly hopeless. You know that. Okay, so I'll let you know. That lucky guy is Billy, your ex-boyfriend. What? Billy? What Billy? Oh no, you didn't. That Billy? Yes, we happened to bump into each other, hit it off, and begun dating. And shortly after that, he proposed to me. Seriously, Hannah, you're actually gonna marry my ex? I can sense your surprise. It's probably hard for you to accept. You must be thinking, how can someone I still have feelings for end up marrying my friend? I'll give you some time to let it sink in. Um, what feelings? I apologize for being the one who stole the man you dated for five years, only to be dumped by him on the eve of your twenty-seventh birthday. You told me your own story. There's really no need for you to apologize to me. It's in the past, and it doesn't bother me at all. Are you sure about that? Didn't being dumped in such an embarrassing way shatter your pride as a woman? I bet you regret letting him go and secretly hope to win him back someday. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but that will never happen. I'm not sure what you're trying to imply, but I'm not enjoying your attitude right now. Billy, the man you still have feelings for, is marrying your dear friend, me. He told me I'm the only woman he wants as his wife. It's impossible for you not to feel something after that, right? Well, it does feel a little strange when an ex starts dating a friend, but honestly, it doesn't concern me anymore. You are so mature. If only everyone could be as open-hearted as you, there would be no conflicts in the world. Despite the regrets and emotions you keep hidden, you still manage to give us your blessing. You've earned my respect. Thank you. I guess it's all right. I completely understand what you've been through. You are putting up a brave front for me, even though you still have feelings for him and are hesitant to reveal how hurt you truly are. It's not like that at all, really. It's okay to feel that way. There is no shame in holding on to feelings for someone as amazing as Billy, especially after experiencing such a humiliating breakup. It's impossible to forget. It must be so embarrassing to not be thought of as wife material. That's why, out of the kindness in my heart, I wanted to personally invite you to our wedding. Bring all your lingering emotions to the church, and perhaps, after witnessing how happy Billy and I are, you might find a reason to let go of those feelings of humiliation. Hey, Stacy, guess what? Another wedding invite landed in your mailbox, and it's from that friend of yours. 
Seriously? I had already declined the first one. Did she not get the message? Or is it someone else? It's actually the same girl, Hannah. She seems quite insistent. I noticed the envelope, thought it was odd, and took the liberty of checking it out. Hope you're okay with that. No worries. What's in there? The usual wedding details, but there's a handwritten note that caught my eye. You better come. You have no choice. That's a bit intense, don't you think? Definitely. She's laying it on thick. How badly does she want you there? Apparently, very badly. She's inching into psycho territory. It's like she's rejecting my rejection. Exactly. Feels less like an invitation and more like an obsession. Any history between you two that might explain this? Sort of, but not really. Either way, please mark regret for me and send it back. Are you sure it's okay to decline again? Maybe we can shuffle things around so you can make it. Despite the weirdness, she still considers you a friend to send an invite twice. I get that, but depending on how this unfolds, we might not be friends after this. That sounds ominous. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? The truth is, I'm actually busy that day. I can alter the plans. Thanks for handling it for me. Stacy, what is the meaning of this? Why won't you attend our wedding? I thought we were friends. I already mentioned that I couldn't make it. What else do you expect? I specifically told you that you must come. I don't have to do anything. I have an appointment that day, and it can't be cancelled. I had this day scheduled in my calendar months ago, before you even invited me. What could possibly be more important in your life than my wedding? You're just upset and jealous that I ended up with Billy, and you're too embarrassed to come. What is wrong with you? I'm truly over him. But you're bringing up old news? What are you trying to get at? It's getting annoying, so just come out and say it. I simply want you to be honest with yourself and tell me the truth. I'm being honest with you. It's as if you want me to feel envious of you. That's exactly what I want. I want you to regret losing him and I want to witness your suffering as you see what I gained and you lost. If I can derive satisfaction from that, then what's the point of getting married? What's wrong with you? I have finally moved on. Show me your frustration and tears so I can truly relish this victory. Win? Victory? Frustration? What are you talking about? Since I'm getting married in a few hours, I'll finally reveal how I truly feel. I have despised and resented you for years. Seriously? I made it my mission to surpass you. And today is the climax of years of built-up anger. You've hated me for years? But we've known each other since junior high. Exactly. Throughout that entire time, I've never been able to outperform you. Whether it was in sports or exams. I always played second fiddle, making you shine. Are you being serious right now? All final exam scores, SAT scores, every time I've been overshadowed by you. Even the guy I like all through high school asked you to prom. Because of all this, I have hated you and desired nothing more than to finally surpass you. I can't believe this is how you felt all these years. So, I made up my mind to do whatever it takes to get married and live happily ever after before you. Despite never surpassing you. During our student days, I figured as an adult I could finally have my revenge. This is ridiculous. Why waste your energy? When I found out Billy dumped you, I saw it as my opportunity to finally retaliate for all those years of humiliation. I would never reverse all of my defeats by getting married before you. And the chair on top was that it would be with a man who dropped you like a bad habit. Let me get this straight, Hannah. 
Your marriage to Billy is simply a childish way to get back at me? Yes, that was the plan. I'll achieve happiness by getting married before you. Right after the ceremony, we'll head to the city hall and notarize our marriage certificate. Solid proof that I achieve marital bliss before you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. By marrying the man who dumped you in the most humiliating manner. I believe it's a perfect way to prove that I'm superior to you. Moreover, Billy is a lawyer at a prestigious firm, so my life will be filled with luxury. Today marks the end of constantly living in my shadow. Enjoy your life as an old maid while you witness my rise to high society. It'll be a bit hard to live the life of a sad old maid because I'm already married. No, you're not. Well, then have a fantastic wedding and live your best life. I couldn't care less about who gets married first or who has a better life. I'll live my life and you can live yours. But I'm first, which makes me better. So I win, right? I had no idea you felt this way about me. To be honest, it's been very hurtful. I've been trying to distance myself from you. But it seems like that won't be enough. So from now on, let's consider ourselves nothing more than former classmates. What do you mean when you said you're married? Why haven't I heard anything about this? Explain everything to me. When did it happen? This morning. I submitted the paperwork as soon as the office opened today. But why today of all days? But I'd been planning this day for a long time. I had made arrangements to change my name on all the legal documents and accounts. There are numerous things that need to be updated if you take your husband's name. So I hope you have a plan for that. What? Seriously? Yes. That's why I set aside this day to take care of it all. I even took a day off work. This can't be true. It wasn't part of my plan at all. You must be lying. All you told me was that Billy broke up with you on your 27th birthday. It seems like we both found our husbands around the same time. After that, I met the right person and we hit it off immediately. But it's not fair. Meeting him was wonderful. However, soon after we started dating, I received a promotion at work and was asked to take over the main branch. I was willing to start a long distance relationship, but he insisted on following me wherever I went. He proposed on this day because he was looking for a job in Maine the next day. You can't be serious. So I moved up here to settle into my new office while he stayed in Chicago to find a job and take care of my place until the lease ended. The relocation happened so quickly that my landlord wouldn't let me break the lease. But everything worked out in the end. But that means you never receive any of my invitations? Sort of. My husband replied for me. So that's what happened? I found it strange that your response letters were different. I thought you were just being tough by circling the regret option with hearts or flowers. Did he really do that? Oh, how embarrassing. So you're really in Maine now? Yes, my husband found a job here and just moved yesterday. That's why I've been running around, filling out paperwork and signing forms. You beat me again? Who cares about winning or losing? Let's both focus on building our marriages and happy lives. I was unable and unwilling to take care of Billy. But I have mad respect for you, Hannah. What do you mean? I'm amazed that you were willing to marry him, despite his demands. What demands? What are you talking about? Oh, he didn't tell you? I'm going to quit my job in a few years, so make sure you can support the both of us. Those were his exact words. I'll send it to you. He told me that on my 27th birthday. He said I'm tired of working, so I'll quit in about two years. Then I'll find a part-time job, but I won't work for more than four days a week. That can't be true. He said if I agreed to these conditions, he would marry me. Can you believe it? I hope you do, because it's coming your way. 
Of course I turned down such a lovely offer. Then he told me I wasn't the right wife material for him and broke up with me. I haven't looked back since. Wait a second. So he dumped you because you refused to support his lazy lifestyle? Yeah, I suppose that's the gist of it. It's hilarious that he thinks I'm not wife material. So that's what really happened? That's the truth. I never expected a friend to go after another ex. In a crazy plan for revenge. Turns out I was wrong. Looks like I dodged two bullets. Phew. He never told me any of this. I still have a few places to visit today, so I've got to go. I couldn't attend your wedding because I'm out of state. But enjoy yourself. From now on, let's forget about competing with each other and focus on living happily ever after with our new husbands. Excuse me, I know you're busy, but something unexpected has happened. An individual is claiming to be your acquaintance who has arrived at our residence. Should I let them in? Someone who claims to be my friend? Seriously, who could it be? I asked first, and she said she is the one who sent all those invitations. Did you disclose our address to her? She's the last person I would share that information with. What on earth is she doing in Maine? How did she find out where we live? I have no clue, but she's here. I don't think we should let her in. Absolutely not. Whatever happens, do not let her in. Do whatever it takes to get her out of here. I'll take care of things after that. Got it. I'm relieved that I got a hold of you and got your take on it. Come on, Stacy. Open the door and let me in. I traveled all the way to Maine just to see you. You can't turn me away like this. No, I never asked you to come. How did you even find my address? Well, I did some serious detective work. Hours of searching and digging. Impressive. Maybe you should consider starting your own detective agency. Stacy, this is serious. After an extensive investigation, I managed to track you down to this fancy townhouse in a gated community. I had to see it for myself, and well... Here I am. You've really got too much free time on your hands. I thought it might be false information, but I needed confirmation. It's just not fair. You must be somehow cheating at life to have it so much better than me. Cheat at life? My husband and I work hard, and property prices are more reasonable here. Save money and you could have a place like this too. Spare me the financial advice. I live in a cramp apartment with that dead beat. It's just not fair. Wow. If you're so unhappy, why not consider moving? I would if I could. Billy quit his job after we got married. Now, we have no money. So he actually did it. He claimed to be a modern man, willing to take care of household chores while I worked. He only told me this after we got married. Well, that's a surprise, said no one ever. My life is a mess now. He revealed that you broke up with him and he expressed a desire to quit his job. And since he learned from his mistakes, he promised not to disclose it to the next woman he wanted to marry. Hidden terms and conditions. Classic. It's so unfair. I was about to beat you. I was going to marry a lawyer. Finally, things were going my way. A lawyer who doesn't work is just a title. It's your fault. You should take responsibility for my misfortune. You are the reason I married him. If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened. I'm screenshotting this conversation. After coming all the way here, you owe me. You have extra money living in this nice house. Share some with me. No way! You won't get a penny from us. I don't need to listen to this. I'm blocking you. Wait! You can't do this to me! Yes, I can. And I will. Bye. After some digging, 
I know that she's still married to Billy. She believes that he will soon find the drive to start again. Meanwhile, she's working two jobs to support them both. Despite his best efforts, he couldn't even get a job as a line chef. Sadly, he remains at home, living the life of an unemployed attorney. Seems that he has lost all motivation to work and has come to accept the situation, claiming that as long as his wife can provide the basic necessities, everything is fine.